If you like key issue comic hauls, well, you're about to witness one. Stay tuned. Hello, my crazy comic book collectors. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. Welcome, one and all. And today, we are doing a key issue comic book haul. But before I start, as usual, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to view one of my videos. And don't forget to wait until the end, so hopefully you'll watch the entire video. Because at the end, I do a surprise subscriber shout-out. Now, I recently I've had a bunch of people asking, so I might have forgotten one or two. If you're one of those people who want a shout-out and did not get one yet, please mention it in the comments section, even if you've done it before, because I get a lot of um, people requesting it, and I would hate to forget somebody who wanted one. So with that being said, let's get into this comic book haul. First book I want to show, um, I never really watched Rick and Morty, the first two years it came out. It wasn't until season three that I finally decided to give it a shot, and I absolutely love it. Um, as of now, I have every Rick and Morty issue. absolutely love it. I even have their first appearance, and this is uh, Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It. Uh, this is a New York Comic Con variant. This is issue number one, and of course, these are newer books, so these are generally between 9.6 and 9.8 um, condition. I paid twenty four ninety nine. Now, when I mention the prices, that always includes shipping and handling. All right, this is a book I wanted, but I saw the price was getting too high, so I waited until the um, movie buzz died down. That's usually the best time, either get it beforehand or wait a little bit afterwards, and you'll get much better prices. Uh, this is Wonder Woman issue number one. Uh, this is a Copper Age issue. This is almost around the time I started collecting comics, but never picked this book up. Now, like I said, the um, the Wonder Woman movie did really good. It was a decent movie. I can't complain. It was one of DC, the uh, DC Comics' better movies as of late. But uh, I've seen these go for $50, 60 up to $100. Uh, this one's probably at least an 8.0 to an 8.5. I mean, it does have some rounded corners... Uh, but other than that, looks pretty good. There's no ticks along the spine. So I'd say probably 8.0, 8.5 range. I only paid $28.50. So sometimes it's about timing. Never get it when it's absolutely at the hottest because you're going to dramatically overpay. And unless you're a millionaire, you know, I'd rather spend extra money on other comics. Now, speaking of this one, I got a really good deal on this one. There are so many signatures on here, it's not even funny. It is uh, Harley Quinn issue number zero. Now, this doesn't have a certificate of authenticity or anything, but I've seen a lot of these signatures. So it um, will, like, for example, Amanda Connor right there. I mean, that's absolutely her signature. Uh, it's got, um, let's see, they actually wrote it down. This is uh, the signatures on here. Signed by Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, um, Art Bella Czar, forgive me if I get some of them wrong, Becky Cloonan, Tony S. Da Daniel, Stephanie Roxy, Adam Hughes, Dave Johnson, Dan uh, Pinozian, and Walter Simonson. So a lot of different signatures on here, and there is actually a little mini sketch. So this would be actually pretty expensive to grade, because grading companies, when they have to verify signatures, it's $15 for the first, and then 10 for each other one. So you'd talk about this would cost over a hundred and something dollars to actually have verified. Uh, probably won't be doing that anytime soon, but still, for the price I paid with all these signatures, cannot complain. Only paid fifty dollars for this book, and of course, again, includes shipping and handling. All right, next up we got ourselves a Silver Age book, uh, not in the best condition, but again, for the price I paid for a um, earlier Avengers. This is Avengers number twelve. Um, absolutely love this cover. It's one of the usual Jack Kirby classics. As you can see here, there's a piece missing in the corner. A lot of spinal ticks. Um, well, not even spinal ticks. Actually, the spine doesn't look that bad. But there's a lot of color breaks along here. So this is probably uh, 3.5, maybe a 4.0. But, I mean, there's nothing majorly significant. I just love this cover. I paid 26 bucks for it. So, you know, it's one of those kind of fillers that I don't mind getting. 
All right, this is another book I will get all day, every day. I have a couple of these. A few of them I got graded back in the days. Still able to get them fairly reasonable if you look and be patient with your purchases. This, of course, is Miss Marvel issue number one, which is the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Miss Marvel. Uh, this is probably an 8 to, again, an 8.5. There's a color break there. Um, you could see the corners are rounded a little bit. Another color break here. Uh, a couple of spine ticks here and there. So actually, that probably with these spinal ticks probably lowers it to a 7.0 to a 7.5. But still, these books are going for like anywhere from 50 to $75 and up. And uh, I got another good deal waited for this. I passed many of them by. Uh, the movie hasn't come out yet. There aren't even any trailers. So you, there's still time to get this book before it starts really getting up there. I only paid $26.49. So that was a steal for this book, even in this grade. Because some of them get really high at this point. Get that while you can. All right. Another of the Rick and Mortys. This is issue number one. This is the Omnipress variant. Um, I'm not sure if it's 1 in 10 or 1 in 20. If anybody knows, let me know. But uh, the number ones are going pretty hot. And um, I thought these were ticks when I saw the picture, but that's actually part of the artistry in here. Uh, there is only, this is a 1,250 print run. So a small print on this. I only paid $86.98. I've seen this book go for about $125 to $150. And as more and more seasons of Rick and Morty uh, continue onward, the more popular this TV show gets. And if you haven't seen it, you, you definitely got to give it a shot. It's not for everybody, but if you have a warped sense of humor, you'll appreciate it. Looks pretty good. I would say 9.6 to 9.8. Corners are perfectly sharp. Looks beautiful. But for that price, still worth it for you. Well, for me anyway. All right, here's another one I just lucked out on because this one's going pretty high these days. Uh, this is, I have so many of these, it's not even funny. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man 361. Uh, back in the days when this first came out, I bought like anywhere from three to five copies of this book because I absolutely loved this cover back in the days. So I only paid $1.25 for those. Didn't pay $1.25 for this one, but considering some of the prices that are out there for this book... I've seen these going for 75 and up. So, especially with the Venom movie, there's still rumors about Carnage. It hasn't been absolutely confirmed yet. And if it does, expect this uh, comic to go up even higher. Uh, it does have what's called a miswrap. You can see here, it starts out thicker. You can see the back of the book, and then it slowly thins away. So that will lower the grade. Um, corners look good. Nice and shiny. I don't see any spinal ticks, but that would probably lower it to a 9.2, maybe a 9.0, somewhere around there. But for the price, I don't care. That's First Carnage. Made $26.81. So under $30 for this book these days, that to me is a steal. Of course, you know, like I said, I had several of my board cover price, but, you know, it's no longer the 90s. Speaking of which, another book I bought back in the days that was cover price. I have two or three of these cover price, paid a dollar for them. But this one is signed. This is Uncanny X-Men, issue 266. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about this one is there's a lot of times a miscut. That's not a trimming or anything like that. That's happened several times. I've seen several issues where um, I guess they just miscut it. So that's not a problem. I think I have one myself that got graded like a 9.4 or something like that. But this was signed... By Chris um, Claremont, only paid sixty dollars. So just for the signature alone, um, even if this was like an eight point oh, that would be worth it. But this one looks pretty darn good. I see one minor, like sixteenth of an inch, little color break right there. But other than that, the corners are sharp. This would probably be a nine four to a nine six with the with the signature. Um, for $60, I will definitely not complain, especially for the first full appearance of Gambit. All right, another signed book. This is another one I couldn't believe I got the price, because unsigned, this book is worth more than what I paid for it. Uh, you guys who've been following me for a while know I am a huge Walking Dead fan. 
Um, this, I have the entire run from issue one all the way to current. I'm actually, it's one of my only modern subscriptions I still have. So I have this one, but I didn't have this signed. This is Walking Dead issue number 27, first print. This is the first appearance of the governor, but as you can see, it is signed by the actual, um, guy who played the governor in the TV show. Uh, his name is, um... David Mor Morlesley, Morrisley, unfortunately it got smeared, but I only paid $63 for this book, and this is in 9.6 to 9.8 condition. There are no ticks on this whatsoever, corners are nice and pointy, um, he signed it and he put in quotes the governor, so this book alone, ungraded, sells for around $75 to $100. To get this book for under $65 with it signed... Uh, to me, I'll take that all day, every day. So again, another good timing book. All right, two more, and we got the key, the major key issues. Uh, the next, the next two, I I have several copies of, but anytime I get a decent price, I'm going to get this every time. And I've shown this book before. Well, not this one specifically, but like I said, I have a couple of copies. Uh, this is Silver Surfer issue number one. Um, this is has the origin of Silver Surfer. Nothing else majorly special other than the fact that it's the number one issue. Uh, this one would definitely benefit from a pressing. You could see that it's f been flattened, and that happens a lot with these very thick books. Uh, there's some color breaks here. It looks like there's a water stain over here. But overall, the cover presents well. I mean, there's a lot of little damage along here. But I would say this is probably a 4.0, 4.5 range. Pressing would probably bring it to a 4.5 to maybe a 5. But still, even in that grade, this book is going to continue to go up, especially the day, you know, knock on wood as I knock on my head, that uh, Marvel puts out a either Silver Surfer movie or Fantastic Four movie, expect this book to continue to go up. This book, even in low grade, sells for over $100. Paid $80.55 for that book. So that is definitely a key issue. And last but not least, this is like my sixth or seventh copy of this book. Um, I will get these when I see them. Uh, this is Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, issue number one. First appearance of Luke Cage cool looking cover this one definitely looks nice and bright it's one of my better ones of this book because especially with the black of the um, background that could get really dirty and the yellow tends to show a lot of dirt but this looks pretty clean uh looks like there's some issues here with the staples but the staples are attached a uh, little bit of a color break there bottom looks pretty darn good considering so overall this is probably a 6.0 to a 6.5 can't complain for that uh paid a total of 170 dollars and 62 cents so not bad this one still has a lot of potential uh season two of the uh, luke cage show should be coming soon and i'm looking forward to seeing that so that's it that's my comic book call Always appreciate the comments because you guys and girls know I will always respond to them. If you saw this video all the way to the end, show me how many fingers you see currently. Not including this one, so let's just move that away. How many fingers you see, place that there. Leave any other comments about the books that I have, what your opinion is. And um, don't forget to wait in the end to see who's the surprise subscriber shout-out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up if you want to. Or thumbs down if you hated it. That's up to you. Hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, just don't hit the person next to you, because that's just not nice. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it is not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, I will see you next video. For...